Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. So, are you enjoying your ride with Elementary for now? You might think something is missing from the default install and you'd be right. There is no way to edit documents, spreadsheets or presentations. Let's take a little tour of the available options. LibreOffice Did you hear about OpenOffice back in the day? Well, now LibreOffice has picked up the role of your everyday office suite. It can handle text documents, spreadsheets, presentations, but also drawings, databases and math formulas. You can install it right from the App Center, just look for LibreOffice. It does not integrate very well with Elementary though, with its title bar and its old school menu bar, but it's one of the most cool featured out there. It can open pretty much any file format you'll throw at it, from Microsoft Office to Open Document to HTML, XML or even Apple Pages and Numbers documents. If you have an older file format you need opened, this is the one you need. Compatibility is ok for Microsoft Office documents, with very minimal laws of formatting. Finally, you can pretty much make it look like anything you want. The icon theme can be changed, and even the look and feel with the new notebook bar modes, it's a must-have on any system where you need to edit some documents. WPS Office If you want a straight-up Microsoft Office clone, you can't go wrong with that one. It's advertised as an alpha version on Linux, but it has been very stable in my experience. You can download it from the WPS website, I'll put a link in the description down below. Only three modules are included, a document editor, spreadsheet editor and a presentation application. These are the basics anyone will need. It looks exactly like the modern Microsoft Office apps would look today, with the ribbon interface, and it also adds its own spin on it, with tabs for multiple documents in the same window. You can even change the theme from Modern Office to Dark Mode to Older Microsoft Office Blue and even the regular menu bar toolbar layout from Office 2003. It integrates a Night Mode to help reduce the strain of the white page on your eyes. File format compatibility is a little less inclusive, with support for Microsoft Office only, as well as plain text, RTF and its own WPS file format. Microsoft Office compatibility is absolutely perfect though. The only problem I've encountered was the lack of some fonts on my system, which you can correct by installing the MSTT Core Fonts package from the terminal or from the Synaptics Package Manager, which you can find in the App Center. Abbey Word Ok, so this one is an old one. It's a GDK word processor that aims to provide a native GNOME app. No compatibility taunted here, it's perfect for simple writing needs and if your files won't be exchanged with anyone else in an editable format. It only supports .doc, not .x, so you won't be opening any recent Office files anytime soon, but if you want an open source word processor without all the bloat of LibreOffice or WPS Office, it's still a good solution. You can find it in the App Center. SpiceUp Do you want a simple presentation software? SpiceUp is an elementary OS app available in the App Center. It closely follows the elementary OS look and feel and is very minimal, aimed to provide you the tools you need to design simple and clean slides. You can choose a background for each slide, add text, images and shapes such as squares, rectangles and circles, and that's pretty much it. It has a neat presenter mode with the duration of the presentation and a view on the next slide. It's very basic, but it looks fantastic and it's probably enough for most text-based presentations. Other options that's not it yet. You can also download SoftMaker Office. It's a full office suite with documents, spreadsheets and presentation modules. Its main selling point is its file format compatibility with Microsoft Office, which is indeed pretty much perfect. But it's a paid-for application, so only go for it if you need the warranty that it will work, as well as the commercial support. It looks dated in some places, but the interface is mostly what you'd expect from modern Microsoft Office. Finally, there's Caligra Suite. It's the KDE Office Suite, so it won't look too great on elementary OS, but it's a great package if you don't plan on sharing many files with other people. It can handle most tasks with diagrams, back to drawing, databases, project management, presentations, spreadsheets and text documents. It's very featureful and it's pretty modular. You can rearrange the interface any way you like in pure KDE fashion. It's a great fit for those that want to be able to edit any kind of file with ease. So here it is guys, that's a roundup of Office software on elementary OS. If you know about other programs I didn't mention, don't hesitate to sound off in the comments below. In the meantime, thank you guys for watching and goodbye. If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.